If I asked you where you are in your menstrual cycle right now, would you know? Most women, unless we're on our period, really don't have a good idea of what's happening the rest of the month. Hi there, my name is Tanya Neely. I'm a registered yoga teacher with extensive training in yoga psychology and a master's in education. And I am passionate about helping women move from feeling uncomfortable in their own skin to feeling really at home in their bodies. A huge part of that can really be about understanding our own cyclical nature and what's going on with our period over the course of the month. Having a good awareness of your cycle can really start to shed some light that allows you to respond rather to re than react and can also allow a lot of space for compassion rather than judgment. So for example, let's say there are certain times of the month where you experience a lot of anger or irritability or you just want to spend more time by yourself and are a little bit more introverted. Instead of criticizing those things or feeling bad about those, you can come to understand them as part of your body's own natural response to the rise and fall of hormones that happen over the course of your cycle. If you have found that you have PMS symptoms or maybe you're treating or managing things like endometriosis or PCOS, perhaps you're trying to conceive um, or you're experiencing some changes in your cycle, you can create some space on your yoga mat or off to start to respond to those sensations or those habits or patterns, those needs that come up with compassion and really start to treat yourself a lot more gently. You can nourish yourself with movement as well as with rest or dietary changes and really start to create a space where your period is not something to dread or to avoid or to hide or things like that, but something that you can actually kind of relax into and appreciate as part of a bigger cycle in, in your life. I'm going to share a really restorative, yummy yoga practice that you can use to relax into that time of the month and really support your body in having a healthy period and a healthy menstrual cycle. Before we get into that, I wanted to share a few facts about your menstrual cycle that you might not have considered before. So did you know that over the course of an average woman's life, she will menstruate about 500 times, month after month? That's a heck of a lot of periods. And that's over about 40 years. An average cycle length is about 29 days, and that's roughly about the cycle of the moon as well, which is so often why, especially in yoga, a menstrual cycle can be called a moon cycle or can be tied to the phases of the moon. However, a woman's cycle can range between 21 days and 35 days. So there's a lot of variety from woman to woman about what's happening and how long her cycle actually is. Now, when you think about the length of your period, that's anywhere from like three to six to seven days. That's a really small portion of your entire menstrual cycle and the hormonal rise and fall over the course of a month. But we often really tend to focus in on those three to, five to six or seven days, don't we? Now, the basis of a healthy period and a healthy menstrual cycle in general really depends a lot on how we respond to stress in our life. Yoga is a fantastic tool to manage stress for a variety of different reasons. And in our yoga practice today, we're really going to get into nourishing ourselves with movement, with breath, and with quiet. If you'd like more information on a healthy period and a healthy menstrual cycle, jump on over to FertileBloom.com. There's a great new post that will lay everything out for you. And if you are in that camp of trying to conceive or trying to get pregnant, you might also want to consider checking out Fertile Bloom's Trying to Conceive support groups, Fertile Bloom TTC, and you can find the link in the description below. Mm -hmm.